Welcome back to Strawberry Jam Week. It's the last day of this week, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna like stop at this, stop uh, playing j- jam maps, or just kind of do like series, little bin- mini series of more jam maps. Like Anus Three is looking pretty interesting. I might try that out. <laughs> All in a butt shell. It's freaking hilarious. Anyway, uh, easy, medium, hard. It's on medium, I believe. Let's just tap that on the off chance this command block mechanism behind it, which I doubt. This is a uh, cage by Tash. His full name spells out, so it makes it sound like Tash Nide, but eh, I guess it just likes to be called Tash. I don't even, like, how am I supposed to? Anyway, begin! Alright, it's a beautiful day out, and I'm stuck in here playing video games. Alright, um, how am I supposed to get out of here? Can I really make that jump? Really buddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't have anything to lose, but I assume that's the parkour that I'm meant to take. And, uh, okay, spawns here as well. Hmm. All right, sweet. Made it. And it's a spawner in there. Let's get to this chest. Oh, man, I have to parkour through all these. Not even any blocks. How am I supposed to... Oh, this is sketchy. If I, if I don't make this, I might as well restart the map because th- this just seems essential. Might, like, leave half of it? No. I gotta make the jump. Ah, I believe in myself. All right. Um, so this is probably why it's called Cage. <laughs> Uh, it looks like the zombie spawners are connected to the- There they are! They're invisible. Okay. Okay, they're invisible. Good to know. Good to know. Um, that's not good, not good, not good. Okay, so at least I know that there's invisible mobs. Um, just good to know. Let's go ahead and light that up. Shouldn't spawn anymore. Anyone in here? Nope. Ah! Someone's sneaking up behind me. Howie! Can't see him! I was scared! Alright, um, can I, like, break these- ice box and get them. I don't think I can without a pickaxe. So that's annoying. Oh well. I heard you. Eh, I don't like this. <laughs> right, let's go ahead and light this up. Should be good for not spawning. And uh, I hear you. I see your particles. Where'd you go? You're right there. But can you not see me? It's very odd. Where exactly are you? On the edge? Ow. Ow. Hmm. Very strange. There might be some kind of follow distance and uh, knockback resist mechanisms and whatnot. But uh, let's get the second chest. More stuff. I should probably not take it all <laughs> and be uh, stupid like that. But um, let's go up the stairs. This is probably where I'm meant to be going. Okay, looks like another zombie spawner. Any of them here? No? Okay. Yeah, I don't like how I can't tell if they're completely lit up or not, but uh, it looks like there wasn't any there. Okay, looks like these have super high spawn delays, which kind of makes sense, because I'm not very well equipped right now, and one of them could kill me pretty easily. You spawn, definitely, right? That knockback resist means he's going to come at me and I can't stop him, but he's, uh, gone now. Okay, spawner's good. Might be able to spawn on the outside somewhere, but that shouldn't be a problem, hopefully. Okay, just the same standard loot, so if I miss that jump, I wouldn't be completely screwed. But yeah, it would have been best if I made that first one. Alright. Um. Let's actually light up the. No, wait, there's no zombie spawner there. Oops. Guess I get, guess rid of that uh, inventory slot that had that. Ah! Owie. Ah! Hmm. <laughs> really seems like they have some kind of nerf to their follow distance. They're uh, not. I don't. It's hard to tell. These bridges are so sketchy, though. See, he's like not coming for me. But if I hit him, he comes for me. Is that enchanted? No. Can't imagine that these guys have drops. Okay. Heard a zombie fall somewhere, but hopefully it's not anywhere near me. Let's go ahead and light that up. On the chance he spawns out here. That guy as well. Okay. Go for the chest, assuming it's the same junk. Okay. It's not junk, it's kind of essential, but... Who oh, there? So, saw you the last second. Okay. wonder how much attack damage they have. Probably standard zombie. Attack damage. Ah. Whoa there. Behind me? Despawn from way over there? Hmm. It's not good. I'm not very low HP. And one might be coming for me. That's the end of me. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Don't hit me one more time. Ah. Am I good? <laughs> Can he not fit through there somehow? Oh, nope. Probably should have hit him. Yeah, it looks like some... Um follow distance nonsense so that they can't see you 
or they can't attack you unless they're like way up close but this guy's here oh wait huh <laughs> still alive still alive i will survive okay is there another one coming looks like it i might not be able to take him yeah one more hit well maybe yeah okay let's just keep regening even though this somehow they keep coming are those guys not completely lit up so if so i might want to keep moving as risky as it may seem okay all right let's go ahead and try to take out this one should be ice in the way i know i can kind of skip it by going around it but eh, i like to make it like that okay how am i supposed to get up there um i don't have any blocks or access to any do i I don't think so, so I'm just going to have to keep following the path. Pretty sure. Keep it lighting up. And uh, I assume this is the same loot in that chest, so I'll just rush the spawner. Alright. Eh, yep. Same. The sword's getting down there. Might want to grab the sword. Okay. Did I just buy some bricks right there? Uh, yeah, huh. Is that the fleecy box? Alright. Let's get the fleecy box. Assuming there's nothing... Uh, sketchy about it. <laughs> yeah, nice and safe. Nice. White wool. Nab that. Three in a chest, so I'm good if I die a couple times. Alright. Let's keep going up. Watching for particles. Should probably turn my particles all the way up. They're not completely up, they're just on decreased, which is what I like to play at. It helps with the lag, and I can still see most of the particles. Like, I don't even know exactly which particles are decreased by decreasing the particles by that one. But, uh, really helps with lag, I think. Anyway, don't really need anything else, so let's keep moving. Is there a spawner way up there, or... There are spawners, like, up there, which I don't like. Okay, keep lighting. Way more spawners now. Kind of quite the number. Alright, let's kind of rush this a bit. And there's plenty of gear to reset me if I die, so I should probably be more comfortable with going fast. <clears throat> and um, furious, but this isn't the whole map, is it? It's called Cage, but sure, there's probably more to it. Like when I fell into the void, I could see more to the map than <laughs> this room. So it's kind of reassuring. Uh, do I need some more food? Might as well grab some more food. I mean, why not? I'm pretty sure I have enough resets of gear and whatnot to um, not have to worry about grabbing some of these. I'm guessing that these things seem like they're having such high spawn delays because some of them spawn outside of the cage and fall to their death. So that's probably why they're not as numerous as they could be. Alright, let's just go around this so I can get to this spawner faster. Might make, might make the difference between spawning and not spawning. Okay, keep lighting, keep running, keep lighting, and repeat. Okay. Hopefully we're near the end of this. I'm starting to get used to the gameplay. And, or unless I'm just like, these spawners just don't have any <laughs> uh, spawns. Because they might have been bugged or something. Uh, Alright, set spawn. Thank you. And there's a chest. And there's traps and trolls. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. This is so obvious. Uh, it's not gravel. Oh, sweet. Not even a trap. Okay. Word of warning, this is this next area has mobs that can one-shot you, fooey. It also has mobs that look identical to one-shot mobs and no do no damage at all. Good luck. Okay, so it's kind of up in the air whether or not a mob is going to one-hit me, so let's not get hit at all by anything. I assume these guys aren't the ones that one-hit me. It's possible, though. So let's not get hit by any of them. Hmm. At least this my spawn is set, and I don't have the best gear in the world, so... It's not that much of a problem if I die. Let's totally run right through it, because I'm, I'm so brave about this. Oh, that's just fantastic, isn't it? Okay. This should be good on this staircase. Staircase are pretty nice to kill zombies. Although there's quite a few, and they're going to come up from behind me if they're spawning back there, aren't they? Or maybe... Hmm. We'll see. I should be good if I stand in the corner of this hallway, though, and I can watch to see if they're coming from this way. Okay. Keep against that wall. How about I go ahead and light up wherever they're coming from over here. And then I don't have any blocks, so this might get a bit iffy. Okay. Ow. Oh, so yeah, these zombies are the ones that... Oh, this is not good. Okay, let's go run back and find a chest so I can get a sword back. But yeah, that guy apparently was one-hitter. Okay. 
probably not the best setup there, but whatever. I uh, should be good to kill these guys. Quite a few of them, though. Mm, so many zombies, just a stone sword. wonder what's in that chest might help. Because, yeah, this stone sword against all these zombies. Eh. 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 Don't have any blocks, even. Oh, there's my wool. I guess I could use that as a block if I wanted to. But probably wouldn't want to. Okay. Let's not get hit at all. I wonder what these guys follow distances. I hear one somewhere over there. Might have been like a social spawn. Through the wall. Hmm. Okay. Let's open the chest. See what it holds for me. And food. And ooh, armor. Except it doesn't really do anything for me. Because I'm just going to get one hit. But, uh, oh well, let's put it on anyway. And waste its durability with every death. Okay. Let's go ahead and climb up here like a stupid person. And punch. <laughs> with no, um... Pickaxe, okay. Whoa there. Just kind of appeared there. Can I punch this long enough before zombies come? I assume so. Come on. There we go. Oh man, how many how many blocks do I have to go through? Am I gonna make this? Am I gonna make this? Ah no. There's a couple of them. Don't want to start late. Okay. There we go. Can't afford to get hit at all, so I gotta be careful. Can you, can't you like punch while you eat? I see speedrunners do it, but I can never figure out like how to do that. There must be a trick to it. Like maybe click at the same time, or I don't know. Okay. And how many? Is this just a troll? <laughs> I mean, why would you? How could you? That's just mean. That's something. Eh. Zombie. I don't hear one. Gonna go off a of sound. Whether or not they're coming or not. Oop. Something. Yeah. Well, that's just mean. <laughs> Come on, I punched through all that just to get dunked in the void with my iron sword and everything. Yeah. What happened even there? Was that like a fill command to take out all the ground underneath you? The pressure plate? Meh. Yeah, that's just mean. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this junk. I assume I'm not going to get anything for that, but... And I'm basically where I, where, where I was when I died, except for the iron sword, which would have been nice, but no, you gotta make a stupid chap like that, man. <laughs> hey. That's probably why there's so many gear resets in this first room. On the off chance you die from every single trap. Okay. I'm one for one <laughs> on traps, I guess. Unless I missed one, which would be cool. But uh, let's go ahead and light this up. <clears throat> okay. Maybe this will have an iron sword for me. Yep, sweet. Apparently a lot of these uh, chests are repeats. Okay, where do I go from here? Hmm. I guess I might as well take these two. Although I probably shouldn't. Eh, whatever. Alright. Um, so that, this is a room that leads nowhere. Like maybe that, I, I did have to punch through that maybe, and then there's a path leading off of it. Maybe? <laughs> I just gotta watch out for the uh, hole. Ooh. Hello? Okay. Well then how do I... Where do I go now? Do I have to get to the, down to the cobweb? Is there, is there a path down there? I think I see a path. Hmm. <laughs> I don't like having, having to risk... Yeah, there is a path. Okay. That's pretty hard to see. And was unlucky to not catch it on the way down. Hopefully there's no zombie waiting for it to uh, hit me out of the cobweb. That would be pretty mean. Uh, should I, like, kill one of these cobwebs? Nah, I don't see a zombie, so I should... Oh, there's a zombie. Okay. This is quite mean. If these guys are the one-hit zombies, that would be mean. Eh? Like, they're gonna hit me. There's, like, no way to stop them. Okay. What? How can one be the one-hit zombie and one the other? Is this is a variable, variable spawn spawner. And how am I supposed to get through that? Like... <laughs> All those zombies, I can't kill them in the cobweb. That's just, why'd you put a zombie spawner right after the cobweb? Yeah. <laughs> this guy finds another stone sword again. Keep going. I have to go and back further and further to find my stone sword again. Have I looted this one? Yes. Looted another one. Uh, nope. Okay. And I do need tor torches probably to get through that room. But there's so many zombies there, and because you're sinking in the cobweb, it takes forever to get. Me, how am I supposed to get past the room? 
I know I can like chop through the cobweb to get in there faster, but then if I'm in there, I'm just gonna run into a one-hit zombie and get and just die. Eh. So I have to suicide run and light up the spawner or something? Yeah, let's go ahead and just suicide run the spawner with torches. Cause screw it. Okay. I assume suiciding is probably gonna be a, a universal, universal strategy in this, but um, I don't have the swords to even chop through the cobweb, so that might be iffy. But whatever. We're going down. It's gonna take forever again. Uh, I hate cobwebs so much. Let's actually like start trying to punch through this. I'm not sure if we can. Yeah, no, look how slow that's going. It's not even a single particle in. Alright. Well, there's a sword. I guess I didn't lose my stuff. That's reassuring. Um, doesn't matter if I eat or not, because, yeah, these guys. Um, place a torch. Place a torch. There we go. That's going to help. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. One hit going to hit me and dead. Okay. I lit it up a bit. That's going to help, I guess, but they're all still going to be there. <sighs> I wish they would despawn. Okay. Go for another run, although, eh, might as well. Eh, no, I want to keep that as emergency or something. But I want to cut cut through one of those cobwebs. And down I go. This is lit up a bit. Maybe the, can they, are they going to push each other out? If I uh, get them aggro on me, it might, if I took out that block, maybe. Although I can't, I'd, uh, I'd have to punch it. That would suck. Alright. Uh, can I get more of you guys on me so I can have you guys fall? Push each other off. At least they're not picking up my sword. That's a plus. Is this guy a one-hit zombie? I, I, I can't tell. And how am I supposed to decide? I mean, he probably is. I mean, right? Oh, I can't even place a torch. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, let's uh, hurry and use a sword. And use those. Okay. Quite an unfair little bit here. That spawner shouldn't be there. Okay. <laughs> Let's get through this one, so I can rush in there, light up before they even see me, and there we go. Finally. Okay, it's all lit up, so they shouldn't spawn anymore, so now I can actually use a sword I don't have, and uh, kill him. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's take some bread. Okay. And back. Yeah, great. <laughs> Might have to call the episode early, because someone needs more help or something. <clears throat> But uh, let's try this one more time, I guess, and then... Wait, did he just spawn again? I heard some spawn. Let's make sure this is all lit up. And then kill these guys. Of course, more are going to be behind me, and they're going to one-hit me from behind. Without me even knowing. But uh, there we go. Okay. Ladders. And more guys. A lot more guys. I could... Can I, like, jump on this? Probably. But I'm not sure if they can hit me from there. Oh, there's so many. Can I get up here? Apparently those guys aren't one hits. I think this should be good, right? Huh. <laughs> la 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 la. Alright. Let's keep killing these guys. Killing, killing, killing. I kind of have to end, you have to pause it right here for a sec to help someone out with something, but um, let's just light these up a bit so that they don't... Oh, hello. I guess that's the monument. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back. i got to help someone out with something. Alright, so paused it here. There's zombies coming at me. But uh, hopefully I should be alright. I had to help someone carry stuff into their room from the car or something. But uh, it should be good from here. It's a nice little uh, pedestal for me to use my sword. But holy crap, there's so many zombies. So many. I really hope they can't hit me. Like, even if I'm knocking their ba them back and everything. Should probably not hit them if they're, like, way up against the chest and, like, with, with zombies behind them, because then they might get hit up by the sword and then not hit back because there's a zombie blocking it or something. But, um, wow, they just keep coming. Hmm. Is there an end to these guys, or...? That guy dropped an iron ingot, which is interesting. Okay. Just keep looking around for more zombies. Okay, let's try to push forward a bit. Uh, maybe... I want to place this wool. Like, that's something I want to do. I don't... Wait, where, where'd my wool go? Did it go in the void? Yeah, I might have gone to the void. Okay, I'll have to go grab that wool again, which shouldn't be an issue, but um, let's just get up here. Should be fine if I just uh, do that. Okay, that should be a dead spawner. Ah, that was close. I mean, that was a zombie that could have killed me, but uh, apparently not. Okay, well, at least the spawner's lit up. That, that was probably a problem spawner, so uh, should be good to go up here. Take out this spawner, which is probably another problem spawner. 
And this one. Jeez, so many problem spawners. Okay. Let's jump down here. Loop around to this spawner. Holy crap. Let's kill you. Okay. Light, light, light. Run forward. Probably on a suicide mission at this point. Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's just call this a suicide mission. Because I'm kind of screwed. Oh, then not. Wait, lag. Okay. Suicide, suicide, suicide. Spawner within there. Great, now he's putting in hidden spawners. Fantastic. Okay, it's just light, light, light. Because suicide. <laughs> la, 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 la. Man, there's a lot of these guys. Jeez. Ladder down. Interesting. So now it's like it's just a maze. Don't aggro, please. Thank you. Huh. That slow aggro kind of screwing them over. But hello, next area, I guess. Um, this isn't the wall. Or, okay. Black wall. Simple enough. Follow the path. Get the wall. Don't follow the path. Won't get. Don't get the wall. You might have to retry a few times. What? Do do I die if I step on <laughs> uh, iron bars or something, or do I have to use the iron bars? Because if I step on another rack, I might die. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, let's put everything away and uh, head forward. Okay. I assume I just stay on the. Iron bars. I don't step on the nether rack because there's probably an instant kill kind of thing. Okay. This isn't too bad until a mob shows up. <laughs> but nah, there won't be any mobs. It's all well lit and uh, happy. It's just going to take forever. Like a long time, so let's try sprinting some of these. So don't have any time left in the episode, so... Okay. Tempted to jump. <laughs> Make some jumps, maybe. Get there faster, but... Um, Man, I don't know how precise this like whole walking on blocks detection kind of thing is. I really think that I'm supposed to be walking along the iron bars. If not, I, I like I'm just kind of derping along, trying to follow a rule that I don't even know if it if it exists. I should probably test it, but no, the stomp spawn point so far back, so yeah, no thanks. Okay, just uh, take my time along the corners and sprint to the straightaways. Okay. Okay, not sure what'll happen if I step on another rack, but uh, I assume nothing good. So, let's keep along here. Yeah. Might be a huge shortcut if I could jump that, but I'm not sure if I can jump that, so... Huh. Is there really no placeable blocks given out in this entire map? Like, don't, did I get some sp string from some cobweb I could make into a bowl for blocks? But, yeah, it's probably not enough. Huh. Quite the limitation map, that's for sure. Technical limiting map eh how am I gonna get back with this wall <laughs> probably gonna like try to safe out the whole path back before actually like bringing the wall back cuz uh yeah it's a pretty <laughs> dangerous run to be making with the wall okay well here I am assume I'm supposed to grab the ch chest from here there we go troll -la 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 -la. this probably it's probably gonna tell me that there was no actual mechanic so I lied. Whether or not you get to the wall is completely random and not based on following the path. Tee hee hee. Fantastic! <laughs> How'd I know? Okay. Although, he could be saying that and actually not meaning that. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, let's just follow the path anyway. Very uh, skeptical of everything he says. So let's just keep going along here. Might want to just pause it and come back next time for finishing the map probably uh if i could just get out of here on quickly all right well let's just uh pause here and come back when i'm yeah, back <laughs>